Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro here on our 2016 BMW X3. Now guys, this can be a nice little way of giving yourself a nice little hanging rack to get you four bikes to wherever your destination might take you. Now the Thule Hitching Post Pro has been around for a long time, and there's a reason. It's got that quintessential bike rack look, and it does a decent job of getting your bikes to your destination. Now with any hanging style, you are gonna have sway on there. That's just an issue that you're gonna have with these guys. Now you do have this dual arm support feature, of course, and that does a great job of keeping your bike from tilting left and right. However, you can see, you still get a little bit of sway here at the bottom. Now we are utilizing an anti-sway cradle, so you guys can kind of watch how fast that brings it back in line, really wants to bring it back to that static position. And you know, getting that innate just inertia there is gonna, keeping that inertia from happening is really gonna help you. So it's bringing back in line, and that way you're not having them all rock into each other, making contact constantly, which is great, because we don't want our bikes damaging themselves, of course, on here. So that really does go a long way. Now there are a couple other hanging styles out there, in my opinion, that do a better job of that. One might be the Hollywood Road Runner. It gives you a nice little support bar that allows you to actually tie your bikes together. And that's one little thing with any kind of hanging style. You actually can get a cam buckle system and start tightening all your bikes together. And those are available here at eTrailer.com. And that way, especially, you can really reduce this movement you're going to see on your bike as you go down the road. So that can be a nice way of just combating that sway, of course. Now, the Thule Hitching Post Pro, you're going to have a 35-pound capacity per bike, which is going to do a great job of allowing us to get most of the standard and even into some of those mountain bike ranges. However, we are having frame contact. So if you're looking for a way of getting your carbon frame bike to your destination, unfortunately, the Hitching Post Pro, not going to be an option. And in fact, most hanging styles aren't as you're going to have that frame contact, and that can end up warping and deteriorating those carbon frames. So probably going to have to look to either a tray slash platform style rack to carry your carbon frame bikes to wherever you want to go. One other thing you might have trouble with too, or I guess a couple, if you have these women's bikes, step-through bikes, or kids' bikes, their horizontal bar here, A, might not be wide enough, or B, might be at a weird angle that makes it a little hard to actually get it on here. So bike adapter bars that are also available here at eTrailer.com makes it really easy to give you that nice horizontal contact, or the underneath those handlebars, of course, they just run it through, and that way you get this nice horizontal structure that'll really let you go ahead and put that on a nice fashion. So that can be very helpful for, we said, those irregular bikes that might just have a slight little issue. Taking a closer look here at the cradles themselves, though, we just have a nice little thick rubber strip. These guys are going to hold up well, even with that sun beating on them. You can see about a half inch there, I believe, or so of thickness for ourselves. And I would really do like these cradles here. They have a semi-soft rubble rubber guys on the inside here. And you also are seeing those grooves. That's excellent for getting your bike cables to run through, so your brake lines and whatever you might have running against your frame. And that way we can really reduce the friction that we're gonna be feeling as our bike sits on there. Cause you're gonna have movement. It's your carriers on the back of your vehicle. So it's just gonna happen. So nice that we can go ahead, get them wedged within those slots and we don't damage our bike any further. Well, it doesn't take us too much time to get the bike off to do so. I just come up right to those rubber strips, simply pull down to get them past those rubber knobs. As you guys can see, repeating the process on the other side. And that does bring us to our anti-sway cradle. So as we mentioned before, this is a good, great job of reducing our sway. And all we have to do is simply pop it off just like we did the other sides or the other side of our cradle, I should say. One thing you can do to tuck it up out of the way, that way just makes our mounting and dismount that much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my straps off to the side and simply lift our bike up and away. So one thing you might find there, you guys saw I was kind of fighting with the rubber just a little bit. Now it's not gonna be the end of the world, However, it can be nice to go ahead, tuck these cradles up and out of the way just to make that mounting easier for ourselves as we go. So let me go ahead, put these strips back together for ourselves just to make it look a little bit more pretty. A little harder to do with no bike on there, of course, but this way we don't have our straps falling all around, causing any kind of issues. Now, one nice thing about the hanging style, you usually don't have to worry about your clearance. Your bikes are well enough out of the way. As you can see, you get a very nice rise here from that inner assembly, getting you far enough away from the floor. However, dimensions we do want to keep in mind how much length we're adding to our vehicle. Now, our BMW, not the longest vehicle out there, but definitely a little bit to have to work with. Let's go ahead and see exactly how much we're adding on here. So from the rear, of our bumper to the very back. Let me go ahead and see my closest point on here, guys. Looks like I'm gonna be right there at the bottom. It's gonna be my farthest point on the vehicle. Go ahead and I'll just rest right there on that bolt. 
And right there, there we are. And we are going to be putting ourselves right at 39 and one quarter inches extended from the back of our vehicle. So keep in mind that is a little bit of length. However, we are having four bikes on here. So that kind of equates about 10 inches per bike. So that way you can keep in mind we are getting four bikes, but we do have a little bit of length to work with. However, we can quickly shorten that down. Maybe we want to pull this in the garage or we have the bikes off and now we need to park it somewhere at the trailhead. We can go ahead and right at the middle assembly here, we're gonna have a spring clip. All we gotta do is pop that guy like so. Our pin allows ourselves to quickly pull it out just like that. And I can bring my arms down here now. So we're not gonna go all the way and just until I can find that alignment and replace my spring clip again. In this position, one thing I really like about the Hitching Post Pro, no movement here. This is nice and secure there. You're not having your arms bobble around. So even if you are driving around town in this position, you're not gonna feel it, which is great. Some of those hanging styles, when they're not in that fixed holding position, their arms just kind of swing and it's kind of annoying. So I like that about the Hitching Post Pro, that it stays nice and secure for ourselves. But we can go ahead and see exactly what we're working with here. From the rear of our car now to the very end is gonna be putting us right at about, I'm gonna get my ruler to stay, about 19 inches fully extended there, maybe a hair or two underneath it. So 19 inches at its maximum, already shaving down about half of that length. Now, hopefully we get this in the garage or at least get a lot more maneuverability. I will say the Hitching Post Pro just tends to scent out a little bit further than some of your other hanging style racks, which isn't the worst thing, of course, but keep in mind, you do have about 20 inches that you're working with here, 19 intact. So just keep in mind, you are getting a little bit extended from the back here, even when it is folded down. But that's just something that uh, we're gonna have to deal with. So that's totally okay. Moving away to the bottom here, you can see we do have a nice little U-bolt attachment as well. That's gonna be great if we do wanna go ahead and pick ourselves up a cable lock or any other kind of way of fastening our bike. So that cable lock's great, of course, for making sure your bike stay attached to your carrier when you leave it unattended. And as we mentioned before, that cam buckle system can be great to go ahead and secure your bikes together. That way they're not flopping around so much. Well, one last thing right while we're down here too, one great feature about this is we actually can go ahead and tilt this away from our vehicle. Now, of course, we're gonna have to do this when our bikes are unloaded like we have it today. All we have to do, remove that spring clip, remove our pin, and allow it to tilt away. So, one thing I like about it, you saw how nice and secure it was, even with just that one pin. Julie's done a great job of really designing this, and there's sometimes a lot of knobs that you have to tighten. This guy, just one little pin, and it is nice and secure. But as you guys can see, I can come right to the back now and pop open my hatch here. So now I can get access to my coolers, bike helmets, anything I might need. One thing I like about the Hitching Post Pro too, it gets out of my way. You can see how far this almost gets parallel to the ground. I have total access back here. If I had to, I can go ahead and stand over it, get set for those big heavy coolers. So nice that it's not impacting us too much, of course. Just watch out for the middle post as you go to move around it. So um, not gonna be the worst thing for us. And awesome that we have that quick, easy access to the back of our vehicle. To walk it up, we just simply help it walk it up and replace our pin like so. And of course, replacing our spring clip to hold it in position. And it's so nice and easy, it's just right there. That safety cable keeps it right there. If you're like me, a little forgetful, nice that it's just hanging there. And of course, if you drop it, you're not having to scrounge in the dirt or the gravel to find your pin. It'll just hang there waiting for you. Moving our way to the inside though, you can see we do have naturally an inch and quarter shank here today, but we also do have our two inch sleeve converter allowing us to utilize our two inch hitch, which is gonna be excellent, of course, if we have our two inch. But nice that we can go ahead, throw this on a smaller vehicle if we're not just limited to our BMW in our home. We have a lot of ways to work around it, which is great. One thing on the inside too, you are seeing on this side, a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt. Now these guys are very standard across the industry, but you love to see them. They are gonna bring this all line to one system, taking all that play out of your hitch and your receiver, or I'm sorry, your shank and your receiver. As you guys can see, as I shake this, it is shaking the entirety of the car. BMW kind of solid as a rock there, but that means we're all in line with one system. We're not having any shake or play in there. That's making for a nice smooth ride for ourselves, our bike rack, but especially our bikes. And that's a big thing with hanging style, you know? You wanna make sure that you're not having any play at all. That way you can really reduce that sway you're gonna have. Now, one thing I will say about the Hitching Post Pro though, it doesn't have any innate security devices. We don't have a cable lock and we don't even have a lock for our hitch. Now, Thule does give you a snug tight hitch adapter allowing yourself to actually get a locking core to the inside of your hitch. Highly recommend taking a look at that as this is a nice little bike rack and we definitely want it to be there when we come back 
from wherever we might be. Again, though, guys, I think the Thule Hitching Post Pro can be a great way of getting you four bikes to wherever you want to go without having to breach into those platform-style um, carriers. They definitely are nice. However, they do cost a pretty penny. But this can be an excellent little way of getting you a multitude of bikes to wherever you want to go. One last little thing here. You are seeing your backup camera is a little offset towards your passenger side. So while you are going to have a little bit of room to see here, since we're not so close, we're going to have a lot of peripheral, which is great. However, as you get four bikes loaded on here, guys, you're really going to lose almost everything out of there. And in fact, that's going to happen with almost any hanging style and even platform style. So just keep in mind, with this guy, you do have a little bit of room here when it's folded down and no bikes are on it, but you might start losing vision as we get more up on there. Well, guys, I think that about does it for our look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro here on our 2016 BMW X3. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.